There are so many wonderful things that uh, are common between our two faiths and we need to learn about those similarities to dispel any ignorance or misconceptions that we might have. And I don't think I've ever seen anything like it before, uh, particularly housed within a synagogue. And to have the treat of hearing the new chief rabbi talking about his aspirations for bringing the two communities close together. For us to talk together, to come together in a spiritual way, to come together in a practical way, to break bread together as a community, that's, that's an amazing opportunity and, and really necessary for our world. This event is just pulsating with uh, a sense of enormous excitement, with such a marvelous spirit of unity and togetherness. I think that from today, we're, please God, going to go very, very far. This is not a one-off event. This is the beginning of something which will please God, enhance Muslim-Jewish relationships, and take us all significantly forward. The only way that we can create a better world is to engage with one another. It's very important that we can share and learn from one another and to that extent the use of social action, the use of good deeds to bring people together as a, an equalising force. This is particularly an important sort of milestone really and a, a place that we've all come together um, in a synagogue and I think it's quite symbolic. What I'd like to see now would be action. To be able to have a forum where we can meet each other. It brings neighbours together. It allows us to be informal with each other and then hopefully to get something done. Now all of us make stands in life. We believe passionately in certain issues, certain faith systems. We want to stand up to be counted, but if we're going to make stands, we need to know the facts. We need to be educated, we need to be familiar. And that is what our event this evening is about. Because it is through ignorance that we find intolerance and hatred being bred to the disadvantage of society. And the more people can engage with others, the more we actually realize how it is our similarities which bring us together far beyond that which is dissimilar, which should separate ourselves from one another to learn about the Jewish faith, to learn about the synagogue and Jewish worship, uh, to be able to ask Chief Rabbi uh, questions uh, from a whole range of uh, issues. It's been a fantastic evening. Uh, I think we should have more of this. What do you think is the best way to build peace and trust across different communities? There are some people who believe that peace exists when everybody thinks the same and does the same. Rather, peace exists when people do what they believe is right for them to do and everybody defends the right of others to do that and respects their right. What can the Muslim community do, do to confront anti-Semitism? What can the Jewish community do to confront Islamophobia? We need to defend each other's rights and it goes to the area of ritual slaughter and circumcision uh, and many other areas, traditions that we share and it will be to our mutual benefit that we stand up for each other's rights whether we share those interests or whether we don't. I want to know if the Jewish and Muslim communities can really work together on promoting the importance of spirituality in public life. I'm so pleased you asked that question because I feel so strongly about the way in which society is moving to banish spirituality from the public square. I believe that we should with pride have the opportunity to express the beliefs of our faith out there in the public square and we need to respect others for doing exactly that. Today has been groundbreaking. It's just been so exciting and so warm in this room and realizing what we've got in common and the fact that both our faiths teach us to, to do good deeds and kind of what better way than to do it together and I feel that people really got that. I know there are many examples of good works being done by both our communities that need to be recognised as opportunities where we can join forces and in so doing build our trust and understanding of one another. So it's not just a pleasant evening for the pleasant evening's sake that we're going to get some momentum now and hopefully build on that.
thank God we've got the privilege at this very moment of doing something. And this event today will only be a success if there's follow-up. We're actually starting a process, starting to do something. And if everybody in other communities would similarly get together in order to communicate, in order to share thoughts, in order to build bridges, then we've got a hope. Coming together like this can generate so much goodwill and so much passion for Jewish-Muslim relations. And I'm sure uh, this is not just going to be a one-off. Ignorance breeds intolerance. And uh, by breaking down barriers, building bridges, simply engaging in constructive conversation through friendship and mutual respect, we can go a huge way into the future.